now we will learn closure properties of context free languages totally we have four uh, five closure properties first one is union and the second one is concatenation and the third one is clean closure clean closure and the fourth one is intersection and the fifth one is complement see context free languages are closed under union concatenation and closure context free languages are not closed under intersection and complement let's see each and every man why this is why these three are satisfied why these two are not satisfied see let us suppose say i have a language l1 is equal to a power n b power n where n greater than or equal to 1 this is my one language rule and i do have one more one language which is l2 where c power n d power n where n greater than or equal to 1 see observe carefully according to these language rules the strings obtained from these languages are equal right see if i apply union of these two languages i will be getting one more language right i will be getting one more language which is l1 union l2 how it will how i am saying that these two are satisfied or the union of these two are uh, closed under union let us suppose say according to l1 i am generating one context free language s stands to a s b or epsilon so i can generate a language belonging to this like this or from l2 i do have uh, one one more uh, production which is c s d or epsilon right that means that epsilon or in the case you can you can also say that a b or you can also say that c or d right now from this i may i may derive one more one more production which is s dash, s dash which replicate let us suppose this is s1 from l1 this is s2 from l2 the union of this may appear either s1 or s2 that means that i i may get the string from s1 i may get the string from s2 hence individually l1 and l2 are context free languages according to the rules of union according to the rules of union you can also say the union of th these two languages are closed under closed under union right and the second operation is second one is concatenation right concatenation see we have considered two languages l1 and l2 that means that l can be represented as l1 and l2 that means that the same grammar can be represented using this s dash will be represented as s1 s2 that means that l1 l2 individually representing context free languages hence we are we are calling it as you concatenation of those two languages are also closed under con concatenation right and the third one is clean closure clean closure let us suppose say you can take any of the language l1 or l2 l1 which represent a power n b power n where n greater than or equal to 1 which means that here a and b a and b can be repeated any number of times so let us suppose say here it is 0 if it is case that means that it can be represented any number of times the representation or production of this can be represented as a capital s small b or epsilon right that means that this can be represented as s s1 or epsilon where s1 is the new production here which means that 
here L1 is the grammar which replicates A par n, B par n. This can be represented any number of times. So, hence individually N1, L1 is a context free language. You can also say that L1 is also closed under clean closure. And the next two, next two are intersection and complement. See, even though L1 and L2 are individually context free grammar, those intersection L1 intersection L2 will not become a context free languages and if any language is belonging to CFL, L, that particular co language complement is not belonging to CFL. That is the rules of, the, those are the closer, closer properties of context free languages.